The next the next page, or the next piece of set of data that you have to look at on in the handout is this set of data, which gives some population data for the U.S. over a number of years. And I think I, I don't know if we showed you this yesterday or not, but let's let's take a look at it. And I think right away, um, I mean, it would be tempting without the context to just run quickly a linear regression on that data, maybe from the look of the data after plotting it, or from what you know about populations and how they grow. I think you might already have a sense that like a linear fit is maybe like not theor like a theoretically great model, even if you haven't seen the data. Um, you know, populations don't always grow in this way, but what you what usual model at least have we used? So let's let's give a, give an exponential model a try, and um, and again, in an effort to explain rather than just use machines, uh, let's let's try to to create from this a linear model. And the way that I suggest doing that is on your calculator, and I'll do this with you in a minute. Is load this into L1, and maybe you want to just load years since 1900, maybe in L1, and this in L2. And then in L3, set the definition to be log L2. You can use the natural log if you like, or log base 10. So in L3, we're taking the log of all the values in L2. And we should maybe explain, and you'll, we will here soon, why that produces for us something linear. If the original model really is exponential, then the log of the y value should produce something linear based on like what I know about x the relationship between exponential and uh, logarithmic functions. So I'll try this right now with you too. Uh, but get your calculator out as usual and follow along. Let's see if my calculator is liking us better than it was yesterday. What was the last one? It's on your page or two, isn't it? So now in L3, enter ln of L2 here. Yeah, our log base 10 is fine. Oh, you already have the data in there? You guys are so fast. All right. So now let's do an L3. Go up, make sure it says L3, blink, blink, blink. Right? Make sure you're not in L, L3, first entry of L3. Make sure it actually says L3, just blink, blink, blink. And then I'm using the natural log. You can use um, you can use log base 10 if you like. But ln L2, make that the definition. And do you get the same values in the final column that I do there? Again, I did the natural log of all those values. So I'm now going to run a linear regression with L1, L3. Okay. So go to number four, Linreg here as usual. L1, L2 is what it says. Let's change that to L3. And I'm going to store the equation in Y1 in case I need it. Okay, calculate. I don't have my diagnostics turned on. I should be able to do that again. What's that? What's wrong? No. Maybe for people who do their work. You're not doing anything. I finished it. Did you already do this? Yeah. I did this. Oh, okay. All right, is that what you guys got too? 
I mean, what did I enter? L L one L three store in Y one. I'm using the natural log. Yeah. Doesn't matter. You'll see right now. All right. So let's uh let's now consider what it is we've just done. Okay, because I mean, that was great. We got linear and we got a really high R squared value, but what did we actually just do? So let's actually now solve our regression for y, and this is where now it matters what you use. Okay. Um, whether you use log or ln for me. So I, I did ln y, and so when I look at my regression equation on the calculator, I need to remember that it's not a regression y of x, it's a regression ln y on x, right? So um, don't remember what the values were on my calculator. You did ln too? Yeah. Okay, so what is it? 0 0.0128x plus 4.39 when rounded to 3. All right, well, we'll go. Point zero one two eight. Yeah. That's what it is. Okay. <clears throat> That's a one. All right, how do you solve that for y? Go ahead, Sophie. Uh, y equals, it would be the same as a. All that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so we, we, we have some more work to do, but certainly we can do that if you remember um, your rules of, or even just the definition of the logarithm, right? Uh, and this is what I was saying, Alexis, for those who did log base 10, on the way in, on the way out, you need to do 10 to the, and in the end, we all should all agree, though, okay? You use whatever base you like. All right, and then, yeah, I think Sophie was hinting at this, but let's try and get this in the form of, of an exponential that we normally like which I think you'll agree is like this, right? Don't we normally like an exponential to kind of be like something times something to the power x, right? Yep. So let's try and get it in that form right now. It's not, I'm not convinced that this is that kind of a function. In fact, it's not obvious like what the percentage growth rate of our population is from this and stuff like that, right? But we can make that more clear by doing some algebra. So, um, so I think, would you agree by using laws of exponents that we have this? Yes? Rules of exponents allows us to do that. Uh, furthermore, I can move this guy out front just for fun. And this guy, one more rule of exponents I can rewrite as e to the point zero one two eight to the x, right? So now I think I have, even though it looks a little crazy, I think I really do have something, which I could calculate, times something to the x, don't I? So let's actually figure out what those are. Um, and I want to just not type in e to the 4.39 because any error I have will be expo exponentially increased. So I'm going to actually use the full value from my calculator. This is stored in b and a on my calculator. So let's, uh, let me show you how you can get those values here. So e to the, this was b, 4.39. To get to go get the regression variable b, you go to vars stat variables. We've, I think we've been here before, and then go over to eq to the regression equation, and then there's b right there. So that's the first number. That's eighty point four times what's e to the e to the a. So we have 80.4 times 1.01, .01 approximately, to the x. So let's see if I can remember those long enough to write them down here. Full value though is what I'm asking you to do, right? 80.64 is wrong. Minus a point for you. Not, I mean, love. 
with love from Mr. Chase, minus one point. Um, so, so make sure you use the full value. That's what I was saying is it's easy, if you use the rounded value, you just type in your guy value either 4.39, any error that's in that, that exponent will be exponentially increased. The error will be exponentially increased. So use the full value. I just showed you how you can get little, the little letter A and little letter B on your calculator from that set. So use those if you like, or just type in enough decimal places to convince yourself that it's accurate enough to three decimal places. I wrote right over top of it, oops, but um, you can also now try, for those who are like, isn't there a shortcut, doesn't my calculator do an exponential regression? The answer is like yes, but I do want you to understand that all it's doing when it's doing exponential regression is what we've just done, and so in an effort, an ongoing effort, to like show you what's happening under the hood on your calculator, this is what it's doing. And I, would, I do think it's a valuable enough skill that I'd like you to understand how this actually works and be able to recreate this work. Right. So this is the same as yeah, try and do now doing an exponential regression on your calculator. Use the exponent x, x reg on L1, L2, and see if you don't get the exact same about the same answer. Okay. Well, I do want you to be able to do this. So, well, I'll, I, I'd like I'd like you to be able to show this work too if necessary. All right, so this, uh, this process we've just been going through, both with the quadratic a few yesterday, and then today this idea of, of taking the log of each value. Uh, whatever we're doing to the data, manipulating either the x's and, or the y's or possibly both, and then out of that coming up with a linear model is a process called linearization. And, and this is the kind of stuff we've been doing. Here's one that we did yesterday. We said, hey, maybe we should take try taking discovery or stuff. Here's the one we just did right now hey, let's try taking the log of the y values. That's a good move. I mean, that's again, that's provable, right? We just saw that if you take, if something really is truly exponential, and you take the log of, of just y, then that's something linear in y. Uh, sorry. If we do uh, ln of a times b to the x, that's uh, ln of a plus ln x ln b, right? And that reveals that this is, um, uh, that's the, the case we just had. But we can also do this with a, pow a power regression. This, this is a little bit, um, we haven't tried this one yet. But here, if you take the natural log of both x and y, and it's a power regression, what do we get? ln y equals uh, a ln x to the b. <coughs> Can we explain why, or I guess I should say, if you have, if you have a relationship that's got ln y equals a times ln x plus b. Is that really a power function, y of x? Can you solve that for y and convince yourself that it's really, that, re that really is a power function? Like the kind we studied earlier this year. e to the a ln x plus b. It looks like it's exponential or something, but not quite, right? I mean, if you work with this x, I don't know, there are a couple ways to simplify that. What would you get up here? You get ln uh, b times a to the x. I guess I have the b and a mixed up here, Oops, whatever. Uh, but that, that just gives you b times a to the x. So maybe I should change my letters. But do you see that that's a power model then? This is just a very complicated way of writing something that's, that's a power model. Anyway, I don't need to discuss. Well, those are the, the main ones to discuss, maybe. Certainly, if it's logarithmic and you take the natural log of x, then you get, uh, then, you, then that linearizes the data. Anyway, so now, now I, uh, let's try this on some of those, those two homework problems I gave you. I have one more on the board here, too. To try it on your notes as well. So give these a try. Um, and try the different transformations of the data and do some linear regressions. I would recommend doing kind of like what we were just saying, like actually. You know, plug this in L1, L2, and then you know, you've got your data in L1 and L2. In L3, maybe set that equal to the natural log of L1. 
and L4, let that be ln L2. And maybe, I don't know, do you want to try the square roots of L2 as well? You could try all these things, right? And now run a regression. Get R squared values on all these, right? Just get, get R squared values on all these regressions. Try the regression L1, L2. If the R squared is really good, that'll be a linear model, right? That's just your normal data. If your R squared value is highest for L1 against L4, that's the one we were just doing a second ago, right? That is, if you do the irregular x values together with the log of the y value, that, and that's a really high R squared value, then that tells you just like the one we were just doing, that it's exponential, right? What else can we do? If you do L3 with L2, that is the log of the x values together with the normal y values, then that'll be tell you that it's logarithmic. And if and if you get a really high R squared value there. And if you do L3, L4, that is the log of the y's with the log of the x's, that the log of the x's and the log of the y's. That tells you it's a power power function. Again, so do all these regressions, all these I'm asking you to do linear regressions on all these columns. And if this comes out to be the highest R squared, then it's linear. Etc. Uh, and then you can try L1, L5, just like we did yesterday, to see if it's quadratic, or at least quadratic of the particular form we talked about. Yeah. Well, compare them all and see which one gives you the really the best R squared. Does it like matter which one? If like if it's off by just like measures, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like we talked about yesterday with the water and the urn thing, even though the quadratic model was better, in some sense, like, it's worse conceptually. So the, the, the R squared, you're right to, 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 to bring that discussion again up, that, that, like, we really do want the best R squared value. But maybe not at the expense of some other conceptual thing if we have, we don't know where this data came from, so we don't know. So let's just go with the highest R squared value here. Even if a lot of them are good, pick the best one. Even if it is, like, in the hundreds of places thousands place so that it becomes better. Because all they're, they're all not bad maybe. They're all probably decently high. Go ahead, Anna. Yeah, my calculator just has a logarithmic regression and I'm not sure if that's like uh, I'm just asking you to linear regression is all I need you to do. No yeah I know but Yeah so the only thing I want you to do is a linear regression on all these if you you're right that you can check it with just you know not do any of the things I said and do L1 and L2 and then do a bunch of different regressions and see what our squared values are too though. So go ahead and spend some time uh, working on this and the homework problems as well. Those if you haven't already done three and four on homework, go ahead and do those now. And um, and then I'll, I'll check homework tomorrow. So I didn't check it today. Yeah, in, on the homework sheet, B and C, I'm not sure why those are separate questions. They're really, I don't know. And then for algebraic, which is one, you just Yeah, do the process of what I was showing you. Oh, the process. Yeah. Right, it takes so a... For those, because I know there are a bunch of us out tomorrow, for AP staff, good luck. Um, I'm going to give you, I, I don't want to discuss it right now, but tomorrow in class, what you'll be missing AP staff people is we're just going to like work on a review, okay? So. Here it is now for those who want to get started on that early in the